G'day, Wombat here, and in this edition of Quick Review, we're going to take a look at the G Custom by Court. On this channel I've done a few court videos um, most of them have been in the mid price range or, or the budget price range so today I thought we'd take a look at one of the upper price ranges for court the G custom now the G series of guitars by court are very obviously an S type guitar the G custom is their high end model and as you can see it's really quite stunning so the body is swamp ash, and it is a really nice piece of swamp ash, some really good graining going through there, and this lovely cherry colour. The top is a quilted maple veneer um, that is really nicely finished in this cherry burst. Um, looks really, really good. The, the headstock uh, has the matching paint job too, which is quite a nice little touch. The neck is a bolt-on neck, um, with a lovely heel cutaway there, which will allow you really high access to this. This thing is a bit of a rock machine, so high access is going to be an important part of the guitar. The neck itself is bird's eye maple. Now, I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera well at all, but that is just a stunning piece of bird's eye maple. Um, really, really nice. Really quite like it. The tuners on this puppy is... Uh, court branded uh, locking tuners now locking tuners are really really good they give you good tuning stability they make changing strings a lot quicker and easier now I currently don't own any guitars that have locking tuners on them I've now reviewed a couple of guitars that have them and I'm thinking I might need to buy myself a guitar that has some locking tuners on it because they are really really good um, Rosewood fingerboard of course with 22 large frets and these wonderful abalone dots. Um, it is the real deal at this price point and it looks really, really good. The bridge is a CFA3 bridge uh, tremolo system and it is set up as a floating trem on this model. So not only do we get our regular pull down, but we also get a bit of upwards action as well, which is kind of nice on a non-locking tremolo. Um, it does a really good job of staying in tune. Um, I find a lot of vintage style bridges don't stay in tune really well, but this one, man, I was giving it everything and it was just staying in tune really nicely. So I was really pleased with that. Um, you kind of want a bridge that's going to stay in tune, a trim that's going to stay in tune at this kind of a price point. Um, a volume and a tone. And the pickups themselves are EMG pickups right across the board. So we have a humbucker and two single coils. Now the single coils are SA EMGs. Um, and this is an active guitar, of course. There is a little section on the back here where you put your battery. So you must have the battery for the pickups to work. And the, um, the single coils are really good. There's plenty of, um, plenty of that nice single coil tone. Um, but they're dead silent, so no hum, which is great. And the humbucker is an 89, also by EMG, and this thing just sings. So I often find active pickups to be a little sterile um, in, in the clean tones. Um, and these guys can be a little that way, but the 89, it's normally the humbuckers that give you that sterility in, in the sound. But, but the 89 is actually designed to do a bit better than that. Um, for EMG and, and it really sounds not bad at all. Plenty of pristine um, cleans out of this guitar which was excellent. Five way switch to go with it as well. Um, so all your regular uh, S type guitar style tones uh, are achievable with this. 
There is also a coil tap, of course, for coil tapping the humbucker to single coil mode. So that's about it as far as the, um, the setup's concerned. Of course, the lovely thing about this trim system is that it is a push-in, not a screw-in arm that has a little grub screw on the side here so you can tighten it up, which means that it will stay where you put it, which is so much better than the screw-in types, which don't always do that. So you can get it out of the way, you can bring it into play, you can stick it out here if you need to, it's going to stay put, which I found really handy. So that's about it for the specs of it. Let's talk about the sounds of it. Um, Clean-wise, as I said, EMGs can be a little bit on the sterile side. These ones weren't too bad at all. Really pristine cleans and no buzz, which was fantastic. Um, but this was not meant to be a clean guitar. This was meant to rock. That's what it was designed for. And let me tell you, it does that like you wouldn't believe. Really, really nice tones out of this. You feed it a bit of good rock distortion and this thing just eats it alive. Plays beautifully. The neck is not super thin, but it's not really chunky either. It's kind of somewhere in between. There's enough meat to get your hand around and not get in your way, but add to the sustain of the instrument, which is really, really nice. This thing sings, this guitar, really does. The sounds on it were excellent. It will do metal. Um, being active EMGs, you'd kind of expect that. Um, but it really lives in that rock shred kind of element. Um, it just eats the distortion. And man, it is sonic glory with a good amp. It really is. Um, the coil tap reduces the output of the humbucker, as you would expect. Um, and gives it a more brittle style of sound, which you often get with a humbucker that's been coil tapped. So no surprises there. It did what you'd expect right out of the box. The bridge with the locking tuners really stayed in tune nicely. I could not ask for anything better. So we're talking about this being in the upper price range for court. So what is that upper price range? Well, the recommended retail price for these is $1,395. So, you know, as far as guitars are concern, concerned, it's still kind of a mid-range price, but it is getting up there, of course. Um, Variety Music, who uh, lent me the guitar to show to you guys, is doing a lot better than that, let me tell you. You'll have to check the website and you'll have to, you know, keep an eye on it because prices do change. But they're currently doing it for $880. Now that is a big saving on a guitar like this. And it flat out plays hard. So there you are. The G Custom by Court. Stunning looking guitar. And with active EMGs, man, it sings. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button down there. And if you want to keep informed when new videos come out, hit the little bell. That always helps. Thank you once again for watching. And as always, guys, rock on.